In 1972, Apollo 17 became the last manned mission to the moon, after NASA canceled the Apollo program. But what made NASA stop going back to the moon? Before we answer that question, let's examine the first and last Apollo missions. On May 25, 1961, United States President John F. Kennedy launched Project Apollo. It was the greatest technological undertaking in the history of mankind. We shall send to the moon 240,000 miles away from the control station in Houston a giant rocket more than 300 feet tall the length of this football field. In July 1969, humans landed on the moon for the first time, as part of the Apollo 11 mission. People around the world were glued to their televisions as they watched Neil Armstrong set foot on the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. It was a dramatic and transformative event in human history. Apollo 11 paved the way for space travel. This incredible achievement was followed by six further trips to the moon, five of which landed successfully. But the program was cut short. On December 7, 1972, astronauts Eugene Cernan, Harrison Schmidt and Ronald Evans boarded the Saturn capsule for the final Apollo mission to the moon. Apollo 17 was a record-breaking mission. During their three days on the moon, Eugene Cernan and Harrison Schmidt completed 22 hours of lunar exploration and researched the lunar surface more than any other Apollo mission. They had driven a total of 34 kilometers and positioned the most comprehensive set of instruments ever deployed on the moon. They collected and documented over 110 kilograms of moon rock and soil and took over 2,400 photographs. Now let's go back to our question. Why did NASA stop going back to the moon? Here's the official version. When the moon landing took place in 1969, President John F. Kennedy's goal had been achieved and his deadline met. For many government officials, technological and research-based missions were not seen as important as the achievement of the moon landing itself and NASA faced large funding cuts, making the future of the Apollo missions untenable. There was also less national support, and the large amounts of money being spent on space travel became a point of contention for the American public. As a result, NASA was forced to cancel future trips to the moon. But conspiracy theorists believe something else is behind the decision to scrap the Apollo program, and they claim it has to do with mysterious encounters on the moon. And their suspicion is not entirely unfounded. During the Apollo 11 mission, astronaut Buzz Aldrin said that he saw a mysterious object following their spacecraft. I saw this illumination that was moving with respect to the stars. We were smart enough to not say, uh, Houston, there's a light out there that's following us. But that was not the only encounter of the Apollo 11 mission. Former NASA employee Ken Johnston, who was a Boeing engineer and a former fighter jet test pilot for Grumman Aerospace, revealed in a recent documentary that while Neil and Buzz were on the lunar surface, Neil switched to the medical channel. He spoke directly with the chief medical officer and said the most chilling words ever transmitted from the lunar surface. They are here. They're parked on the side of the crater. They're watching us. The Apollo 17 crew also had mysterious encounters on the moon. Just as the module prepared to land, astronaut Jack Smith saw a shining object on the surface. It was a bright flash. Hey, I just saw a flash on the lunar surface. It was a bright little flash right out there. Then, while taking photos on the lunar surface, Cernan caught something that has baffled experts for decades. In this image, you see a moonscape. But there is something else in the corner of the picture. A strange triangular object in the lunar sky. 
scientists don't know what it was. The strange cluster of blue lights is too bright and too blue to be a planet or constellation. What was that object? And where did it come from? As of today, there was no official NASA explanation for the mysterious sightings. Also, while examining a big boulder, Harrison Schmidt noticed some strange markings on the rock, and said this. Hey there, chips up here on top. Yeah, it looks like there's been a geologist here before us. But NASA appeared to have deleted a portion of the audio. They cut an important line from the conversation that we discovered in the official transcript. Hey there, chips up here on top. Yeah, it looks like there's been a geologist here before us. Maybe it was an accidental error, but the omission seemed strange. One astronaut seeing something flashing, could be easily explained as a hallucination. But several strange sightings, really makes you wonder. What did the astronauts actually encounter on the moon? Is there evidence of an alien presence there? Did the lack of public support force NASA to cancel the Apollo program? Or were these mysterious sightings the actual reason they stopped going to the moon? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.